Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video here on Podcast Evolved. Me, Tom, from the Builds with Blocks crew here today, um, and today we're doing something a bit different. We are taking a look at my UNSC Forward Operating Base Mock. So this is a custom structure, a couple of custom barriers, and a custom SAM turret. So I wanted to give you this kind of overarching view of the build first. Um, just to let you kind of see everything together. If we bring it down to the surface level and kind of re-angle the camera, you can see things a lot better there now as well. So what we'll do, we'll break it up into different sections, um, take a look at them, and I'll talk you through this mock, because this was a lot of fun to build. I um, got inspired by Brickman117, who shared a really, really cool marine rescue mock recently. So I wanted to highlight this, that I just kind of have sitting covering dust in my room. So the first element here is a UNSC SAM turret, or a UNSC anti-aircraft turret. And this was inspired by the Vulcan turret on the mission um, sword base in Halo Reach. So I wanted to have a static turret launcher that looked like it would be out maybe in the hills or somewhere, complete with a little control console, the console pulled from Countdown, if I bring that in here to show you. So you can see that there. And the idea is, this is an external structure turret that may have some connection to the bunker that I also built as a part of this mock, um, but it's like its own independent area. And if we bring in some Marines, the intention behind this particular part of the mock was to kind of have Marines able to deploy around it. So ideally in a dream world, this would be on a big base plate and not on a white cloth. Um, but obviously you can kind of get the idea of what I wanted to achieve with that. So that is the um, kind of missile battery. To accompany this actually, I put together some barricades. So this, for context, was built using um, mainly the pieces of a countdown set, some other green bricks I had, and also um, the new Mega Constructs part boxes that they've released. So I had a lot of these big kind of girder pieces left, and I thought rather than using them for something structural, it would be quite fun to use them for kind of like a perimeter wall. So you can see they're split into these different segments and the idea with these is you could kind of hook them onto this side here. Again, obviously you'd have a base plate to connect it all to. And then these, rather than being just sort of firm pieces of cover for Marines, the idea is that the Marines could shoot through them like so. So you can see that Marine position just down there would be able to shoot through it. They'd be able to use them as cover. And the idea with this was to um, create some cover that leads through to the main compound, which I will apologize, is quite dusty. And the main compound is this small forward operations base or bunker. So you can see we've got the countdown roof piece up here actually, I just pulled that straight from the set. I might be able to pop it off yeah, and show you. So you can see we've got loads of kind of just sort of technical looking pieces. I wanted to make it look like this is where a lot of the technical side of things happens at this compound. And you can see that just kind of sits onto the roof of the compound there. You've got these lights from the countdown set, the windows, the big UNSC sticker. And then I kind of built it so it's more a storage area. So on the back, you've got this girder here supporting the overhang. Um, you can see because it's using older bricks, it doesn't fully lock down, which is quite frustrating actually. Um, but I just kind of wanted to get quite creative with this. So you can see the idea here is this is the back entryway to the compound. You've got this elevated gate, which would fold up, kind of open up like that to let Marines inside or when they're not authorised to be in there, kind of comes down, locks down on itself like that. And then you can actually remove the roof. So obviously it doesn't come off perfectly because like I say, it is old bricks. But if I raise this up a bit, 
I'll give you a look at the inside here as well. So if we clear some space, you can see that inside here, there is a lot going on and we're actually gonna remove that entire wall section there to give you a better look still. So inside there are storage crates, there are weapons containers, there is a weapons rack, there are marines, there's a health pack, there's um, this weapons rack here, these control consoles, this marine who's designed to look like he knows what he's doing. Um, loads and loads of different elements packed in inside here. Obviously a couple of pieces which fell away when I pulled the roof off. But the idea is to really make this feel um, as functional as possible. Now I say that, I have just accidentally broken it, <laughs> which often happens, um, purely because this is using a lot of parts from the Pelican as well, the original Pelican, so they're not the most robust pieces. But you can see we've got things like the control panel, the window there, graphics from the um, Cryobase set, Again, these are third-party containers. They're by a company called Sedan. I've got them in here as well because they scale nicely with the mega stuff. Just loads and loads of details to kind of make this feel a little bit more lived in. And actually, if I bump up, bump up the brightness there, you can see that a lot more. So the idea is this would be kind of a observation and control post. You've got the communiques here. You've got this Marine who's clearly in charge. These guys have been deployed to kind of help secure this compound from the Covenant attack. And then obviously the AA gun would be linked up to this compound as well. So we'll just push that all back together there. Put the roof back on. I can't quite remember where this piece goes. I think it clocks in just here. Again, because it's using old bricks, it doesn't all fit together as snugly as I would like but it's still pretty decent like that. And then the idea would be, again, pulling that out, pushing that back over there. The idea would be that we could maybe set this up further down here or further away from there even with this bit of wall that's extended to kind of like connect up like so. And then you could maybe have some barriers put in place and some Marines deploying to join the fight and defend the compound. So that is in a nutshell, a look at my UNSC forward operating uh, operations base. Um, it's, a build that's quite clunky, I'll be honest. Um, it probably is going to get demolished in the near future. There were a few things I really liked with it, in particular the um, barriers I think are really cool to kind of have moving pieces of cover that I can use in displays and things. And I like how the AA turret came together, especially with the reuse of the Wolverine piece. Uh, I'm just not particularly happy with the core structure. Um, so I would like to maybe rework that in the future. But it was a lot of fun getting creative with parts I had available. I don't generally buy parts. I um, build with what I've got and try and get creative with what I've got. So it w I'm quite happy that I was able to create such a cool outpost using pieces from old sets, essentially. Um, so a longer format video from us. Not the kind of thing we usually do here on the channel, but I know you guys have enjoyed a look at Matt's mocks in the past, uh, so I wanted to give you a look at this. Again, massive thanks to Brickman117 for encouraging this video as well. Like I say, make sure to check out his mock link, uh, linked down below. Um, and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I have been toying with the idea of creating a UNSC research outpost as opposed to something so militaristic. So if you think that would be doable with the pieces I have here, uh, then let me know and I will take a shot at it. Thanks so much for checking this one out guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to Podcast Evolved for plenty more Mega Constructs content, and until the next one guys, Evolved! <laughs>